G'day everyone, how's it going? Coming at you today from the studio and I just got a quick video for you guys on the audio setup I use for interviews just to get the best possible sound in any situation, any environment. So I'll show you the mic that I use uh, at the moment. It's a Rode uh, mic. Basically, it's a shotgun microphone. Uh, this one is the NTG2. Not the most expensive mic, but I find it really gives me great audio. Uh, this one is the one that's got the battery in it. So if you open up here, see it's got a one single double A battery and that allows it to plug uh, into directly into camera if you have a camera that uh, doesn't supply 48 volts but that's not why I got it I don't use it plugged directly into camera I use it in a H5 zoom H5 but what it allows you to do is to use another device which is here this device here this little one is called a FET head and what this does is it gives you 10 dB of clean boost so 10 dB of clean gain and what I do is I plug this into the back of the, the uh, road so basically the FET head plugs into the road and then that plugs into my audio recording device the zoom or whatever it is and basically then I've got 10 dB of clean gain and this mic then goes from being a decent mic already but just ups the quality of the mic because the preamps inside the mic or the amplification inside the mic it gets cleaned up by the FET head so it means you can run a higher gain uh, on the actual mic or sorry a lower gain on the recording but still get a clean gain so that's why I use it like that now what I do is on the zoom h5 with this setup this is running the 48 volts off the battery and then I run 48 volts off my zoom h5 so that's what I use to get really good audio now I'm gonna reset the camera here and just show you the positioning right now I'm recording off the camera it's quite a little quite a distance away on the road video mic pro i'm going to set this up i'm going to boom it in over the top of me here and then i'm going to switch to this audio to show you the difference between this mic and the rode video mic pro so let me just get that set up Alright, so now that's all set up and it's just literally above my head right here, just out of frame, like only ever so slightly out of frame. And so I'm going to, it's got nothing on it, it's clean, so there's no um, wind sock on it or anything like that. It's just the clean microphone and I'm going to switch to that microphone right now. So now I'm, you're listening to this on the Rode NTG2. This is how the mic sounds clean without any EQ. I've just done a normalization in post. So you can see the difference between, I'll go back to the Rode Video Mic Pro. This is now the Rode Video Mic Pro and back to the Rode NTG3. So you can see how much better it is in a room like this with no dampening uh, or anything on the walls. And it just sounds so much richer, so much better and it really blows away the Rode Video Mic Pro. Now I've also got the Rode Link, which is lavaliers, and sometimes lavs can work in scenarios like this, but I find when I boom in right overhead, that's when I get the best quality and the best kind of audio, and it doesn't really depend on the room. It always works in any kind of scenario. It's sometimes a very echoey room, I just need to get much closer with the mic placement, but usually, generally speaking, this mic does really well. Now, the NTG3 and NTG4, they're both 
more expensive mics, but I think the NTG4 is probably a better sound quality overall and more of a broadcast mic, more of a high-end professional microphone. But the NTG2 that I'm showing you is more than good enough for any high-end client work or interviews, corporate videos, anything like that that you need to do. So yeah, it's a way that you can really up the level of your production just by having a H5 or some uh, audio device to capture the audio. This is the one I use, which is the H5, which has been awesome for everything I've done, but also the Rode NTG2 as well attached to that. It's just gonna give you that level of audio quality that you're probably finding on some other videos you're listening to and thinking, wow, how do they get such great audio? Well, having a more high-end microphone, a boom microphone, something that booms into the mouth of the presenter is the way that you do that. So just a quick one for today. Hope you guys are doing well. And this is a part of my 30-day challenge to get a piece of content out every second day. And so hopefully this gives you some insight into the way I do audio. I usually boom in the audio uh, on a long boom. So I've got options with my camera setup and my framing and depending, depending on what lenses I'm using, but it gives me options. I use a C-stand to boom in uh, a, a long way. I, I sort of don't use a mic stand. I used to use a mic stand, but I don't use that much anymore because it's always close to the shot framing and you have to really be picky with and careful with your framing. But if you use a long C stand and I use uh, this item here, I'll show you. So this is the item I use on the C stand. So the boom pole can basically go through this item. So this item sits on top of the C stand and then the boom pole goes through and it's a road boom pole with the, um, yeah, all the road set up and everything like that. So that's kind of how I set up my interviews every time I interview now. So I'm booming in over the top of the uh, presenter and then the mic is just coming down right above. And I can show you that setup in a video that I did uh, on an interview that I shot. I'll link that below and it'll come up above here as well. Yeah, it's a behind the scenes of an interview that I shot where I'll show you the boom setup and how the mic is set up. I'll show you the setup also on the, um, the H5 and the settings I had on that. And I'll just take you through that in this video. So make sure you check that out if you want more information on how to get awesome audio for your interviews and for your videos. All right, guys, well, that's all from me now, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night. Bye for now.